Capitol and says he won't. But even White House staffers know the truth. Plus, is a good thing, and his own, he's total sole defenders. His commerce is out front. And the president, or is it Allen? Good evening, I'm Aaron Burnett. Out front, can't get it right. The president, the Rob Porter scandal tonight. That has stunned even his White House, saying point blank, Kelly today saying he furious accusation of demeanor on February 6th. The reporters from the Daily Mail asked the allegations of course, physical abuse against uh, both of his ex-wives, girlfriend who had lived with him. Battle Chief of Staff says he never willing of the Porter debacle, saying nothing to even consider. Okay. a lot to get to here. John, let me just start with uh, the CNN reporting on John Kelly, that staffers inside the White House are stunned by him trying to deny he knew anything about the Rob Porter scandal uh, before it broke in the news. Obviously, the reporting shows that that is not the case. Yeah. Um, the staffers are clear Kelly is not telling the truth, and they're now obviously talking about it uh, to reporters. Is this mutiny for John Kelly? I adequately appreciate the seriousness of those charges against somebody Porter who on the surface presented very professionally, but had a clear right. pattern of unacceptable actions. Right. I mean, Mark, the big question here, when you look at President Trump appears to have changed his tune on gun control. Is he the one afraid of the NRA? Plus a former Trump advisor and billionaire, still a billionaire, cashing in on steel stocks, which he reportedly sold days before Trump revealed his plans to tax steel imports. And he made a hell of a lot of money. Just a coincidence? And the people who helped put Trump in the White House. Jumping ship. Tonight, mass confusion over what exactly President Trump believes when it comes to the nation's gun laws. It's a crucial and substantive question. And the press secretary, Sarah Sanders, says Trump has not shifted on his stance on guns since Wednesday. Which is really confusing because last night the executive director for the NRA tweeted, quote, let me, let me start um, with you. The White House says Trump has not changed his stance on guns. <laughs> is this what it sounds like to you? It sounds like the president doesn't have a stance on guns. He's been all over the map. But here's I would the, say that's true. That, that is, is very yes. true. And, <laughs> and, and here is the Republican president. And we'll deal with the due process later. I mean, exactly. that, was, that was what he said. Exactly. Yeah. And then the next day he's meeting with the NRA. It's a totally different story. It's a reflection, which we saw again this week. But on every other issue, he's malleable about his positions. So, Rob, you know, another way of putting this would be he's like a bowl of jello. And the reason I say that is that's what Chuck Schumer is saying, the minority leader, um, when he talked about the meeting Wednesday and then what the NRA is saying, here's exactly how he put it. I mean, Rob, if he meant what he said on Wednesday and the NRA tweeted last night, the president supports strong due process and doesn't want gun control, he's not afraid to go on Twitter and say, hey, whatever, whatever, whatever about this guy, you're dead wrong. But he didn't. He let that stand. So now we have... Him saying this on one day and him saying the exact opposite the other day. So does he stand for anything? Yeah. No, no, Which no, 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 is no, no. it? Gun, <laughs> gun rights. Okay. Uh, and, and he's been pretty consistent on that. But think that's with, only 30% of Democrats. That's it's a like lot. A, that's one a away with the second of one party. But I mean, half want to take away all guns. That's a lot of people. And, and this is, it, I don't even know so he's has now, no Is he now convinced either. I can't do common sense gun control because no, no, no. people are going to say I'm taking everybody's guns away? No, because I think the other side gets in and says, you know, just let's think this through the next step, okay? Here's what our concerns are. We agree that there needs to be... We're having a conversation about guns, and that's fine. Yeah. But, but yeah. the point is, is the president came out and said, take the guns away now, deal with due process later. I'm for stronger background checks. I'm for putting domestic violence in. I'm for raising the age of 21. And then he went to the NRA and said the opposite. I think he threw a lot of things at the, the wall. The problem is the president is speaking... But he didn't mean the, what he said. The president doesn't know what he's talking about half the time. He both very much. And next, the Commerce Secretary being savaged for what... <laughs> Thank you for joining us, and don't forget, you can watch Outfront anytime, anywhere on CNN Go. Have a good weekend. We'll see you Monday. AC360 starts now.